Welcome to Vibhava Technologies. The online in-house corporate training division offers a Python Python programming. The Python basics, if you learn, then you can move towards the mastery into WLS. Pointed out nine important uh, topics. That is a part one. So once you learn uh, this basic Python programming, then we'll enter into simple Jython connectivities, Jython implementations or importing of Jython, then moving to WLS to actual programming. So that would be the second part. Okay. So basically what is the difference between Python and Jython? So yeah, Python is a different language. It is, uh, it is made for the Unix. So Python is just like uh, other shell programming like bash or ksh how you are having a shell the same way python is also a shell so it runs on its own shell and it will give the outcome so it is basically developed for shell then it is expanded as a programming language so uh, this is a interpreter uh, based programming so comparing with the python and jython jython is going to run on jvms Python is going to run on a Python virtual machine, PVMs. So that is a base uh, difference. And uh, it is, Python is already default available in almost all every Linux machines. And if you are going to uh, use this Python, uh, you need to install in Windows system. Even Jython also you need to download and install environments, application servers as a JSR-188 they are implemented for JMX Java management extension MBIN's concept introduced in WebLogic 9 using some scripting language the best suitable language that should have the accessibility to the Java plus it should be less in the code going forward introducing myself uh, I did my MTech so I am into this industry IT industry since uh, almost 10 plus years automations in uh, WLST, shell scripting, and different various shells I have worked. KSH, Bash, AWK programming also have here. So that is my little bit background. Okay. So just introducing what is WLS course, WLST course. First, we will try to understand what is WLST. It's a scripting language, how it works, and what is the uh, history, little bit history, not much. Scope of the WLST automation. So who can do this and uh, how it can be useful? WLST features and the program structure, how we can write the program. It should be like easy and it can be uh, remodified by any other users. How to start the WLST script and uh, there are two different uh, ways to access your WLST scripts online and offline. And configuration of uh, domain yeah, this we can uh, push to next next session. So the up to online and offline we will discuss today. Okay. So what is actually a WLST? WLST is a scripting shell. By default, it is given by the WebLogic or Oracle WebLogic. It is introduced in WebLogic 9.1 is also supporting 7.0 is also supporting with external packages, external bundle of uh, Jython if you have jar files then you can use them and uh, it is same uh, WLST we can use till 12.1.2 version also the latest version that is 12c which you are going to uh, have in the next near uh, five years up to 2019 you will be having the same uh, 12c supported uh, versions okay so now currently uh, WebLogic 12C is focusing on much more on towards uh, SOA orientation and cloud-based uh, implementations, on-demand implementations. Wherever there is a need for the application deployment or build or complete installation of a domain and with the, all the services, then this will be better choice. In this WLST script out of box, that is another feature. The MX client can be put into another box and you can access your entire WebLogic domain separate. Like the runtime statistics and uh, you can push into some monitoring tools like Nagios or some other tools which you are going to use in your environments. Two types of languages in programming language. One is interpreter and this is compiled language. 
uh, interpreted language because uh, wherever you are going to have the set of commands that program will be executed whenever there is a uh, prop some issue in your uh, statements then it will stop there itself it doesn't go further whereas compiled language it will compile check for all the errors and then it will give the list of errors interactive mode is available so this is so interactive because whatever the command you are going to give at the command prompt that will be immediately giving the output you can access enter web logic domain from the WLST prompt JMX management base and it is being uh, object orientation because it is a Jython so Java supports uh, object orientation everything is object and you are going to have the four pillars concept of object orientation that is supported in WLST as well you can create classes you can make some objects and you can reuse the objects using inheritance also so that concept base and derived classes will be available in the WLST you can make that programs with the classes you can incorporate uh, modules so you can write a program simple functions you can put into one uh, file that functions we can call you can use one of the function or you can use all the functions into new uh, we can do with the import statements which you are going to use in the program so whenever you are importing you can get entire module that is nothing but it's a collection of functions okay and you can handle exceptions just like any other programming languages supports the exception handling where you can use try and catch blocks that will help you to uh, robustness of your program robustness of program is you are writing a program without uh, errors whenever there is an error it should not stuck it should skip that error and it should show what is happening inside and then go further in the uh, program so that is what a robustness that we can do with the exception handling dynamic typing is supported in few uh, scripting languages only it doesn't support it by any programming languages so if you write a program in programming language like C or Java or C++ there you need to define the data type you have to say int a is equal to 10 then it will become integer type and it will make the variable size fixed size and it can store that 10 value whereas in Python WLST you have to just say a is equal to 10 that's it you don't need to specify what kind of variable it is. or a is equal to some server name you want to use you can use it so reusing of the variable can be possible because it is supporting dynamic typing it will automatically changes its data type from integer to string the classes you can define as I told you object oriented automatic memory management is already in place because um, the concept of PVM Python orientation gives you the Python virtual machine and it will run internally JV uh, garbage collection so you don't need to bother about uh, what is the memory occupied for each object MB is you are creating uh, who will uh, destroy that object that is not there so the JVM whenever you run a WLST script one JVM will be created internally one garbage collector will be assigned to that okay so it will automatically take care about the objects which are created in your script it's, uh, remarkable powerful with very clear syntax because if you compare with any other language there is no clarity there is some confusion you are going to give some flower brackets there is no ordering of your program people write uh, number of statements in a single line or multiple lines so they start with uh, one line number another line number that disorder is there so without indentation it doesn't allow you any block what is this block means you are going to write some set of statements so whenever you have a if condition you want to do some three statements that three statements should be indented you have to give some tab space for this three statement then that three statements belongs to that if condition the WLST interfaces to many system calls and libraries Okay, how it works if you see then it will actually internally calls uh, web logic libraries 
it also calls python libraries it also calls jython libraries going forward in 1990s uh, there was a revolution going on uh, different programming languages that moment python is evolved and uh, kairo van rusian who is the inventor for the python programming language so the first release was happened in 1991 and it is super hit why only python why not any other language why not shell why not bash because python is supporting a biggest asset that is data structures you can make the sequence of data you can store into python very 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 easily so that makes the python more comfortable better than any other languages so if you look at the c programming or c++ java creation of arrays or dynamic arrays that is little bit this uh, python program supports mapping the object will contain key and value so that kind of data can be hold with python very easily effectively with built in functions you don't need to create a data structure it will automatically gives you that data structure of course java is also giving that data structures but you need to implement you need to write lengthy code java and python if you compare java and jython if you compare a 200 lines of servlet program can be reduced with jython just 20 lines jython jython is introduced in 1997 uh, the first release was happened and uh, the owner for this it is a open source uh, project java run uh, the python is running on top of java virtual machines jim hogan so he has made this jython and it is open source right now he is not owner whereas van rusium still is a owner for the python still the python is uh, continuously growing and its community is active whereas jython community it was on hold and it is not active for 6 years he made another jython another python iron python web logic used started using or implemented in web logic uh, this jython and their jython libraries are taken and they have made uh, interpretation libraries made for web logic accessibility given to jmx by satya gattu satya gattu is a project lead for the wls introduced this wls in 2004 coming to the market how uh, trends are going on if you look at the us market wls with soa automation this is a biggest uh, high paid salary you may get around 3.5 3.60 to 360 so it is growing growing continuously earlier it was just uh, uh, if you are just a web logic administrator it would be the max uh, 100 uh, per day and uh, now it is 300 plus 300 plus so it's growing if you are uh, having the combination soa plus wls it's the biggest uh, now it is again growing in 2013 and 14 if you look at uh, job density in uh, different uh, requirements in uh, europe so I, i have taken different different demographics so this one is uh, showing about uh, europe so it is keep on increasing that uh, requirement in the wlst wlst keyword search every web logic administration sy administration ai and uh, adf administration Go ahead sign up for the Python orientation course with Vibava Technologies accelerate with our training for details call us on 919618715457 or 4026745